blame it on me. Come take this man, so the pit and I'm seeing now we set it all free. Come take this case, but it's here, let the diamond I'm in and I'm seeing. Come take this man, so the pit and I'm seeing now we set it off. Die, she does not know. Gonna go die, she does not know. I'm gonna get the motor with the love, but I get popular. Come take it, so the dookie damage can be popular. Tumbles, I will do the man, melts, no joke. Hello, hello everyone. Hope all is well. I'm Miles Dyer and welcome to another PSVR 2 Let's Play. We're looking at Tiger Blade. I want to say a massive thank you to Big Sugar for providing me with the game key and allowing me to dive in a bit before the actual launch. Um, as you will see, the date on the trailer was originally scheduled for uh, mid to end of November. It's obviously coming later this week in December at the point of this recording. Um, but, you know, Good things come to those who wait. We never like to see a rush game, and so I'm really, really looking forward to jumping in. Um, just setting this up now. Uh, do hit the like button if you haven't already. Uh, it lets uh, the algorithm know that um, this is VR content people should check out, and I'd love to give people some insight on all of this. Oh, okay. English is what I want. I like this art style. I'm right-handed. But something I was trying to set up at launch... Uh, was getting the uh, voice chat because it's currently not working. There we go. I can now hear everyone. Let me just say hello to everyone in the chat. Hello, hello, hello. And when I type that, I can hopefully hear people as well. There we go. I can hear the live chat now. Uh, sometimes it's a, a bit laggy uh, when kicking it off. I hope you're all doing good. Oh, here we go. Nice. God, that feels good. Right, here I am. Now, I've been told there is going to be a day one patch, which will change things like... Um, I think it says enemy positioning is part of it. Also, um, a slash. Oh, that feels good. Okay, the haptics feel really good. Oh, parry. No, parry again. Do I need to put it? <laughs> Let me just reset my positioning. There we go. Okay. Got to say, the haptics feel great. <laughs> and that feels awesome. Oh, I can deflect. Draw your gun. Wait. Uh, oh, there. And then... Feels awesome. Oh, okay, different enemies. You have to get in different ways. Tilt right stick to look around. Now, can we actually change and get click turning off? Use the gun to interact with the menu. Love that. Uh, right hand, gameplay, accessibility, gameplay, oh nice, controls, looks like there's no, there's only click turning, uh, right, let's go, like that though. The thing is, it doesn't move. It moves with a with weight. Do you know what I mean? Like it is moving where my hand does it, but like I don't know how to explain it. Like they've given it the feel that you're holding, actually not. You know how like in VR, it's very easy to make everything feel like it's just some paper that you're flying about. This feels like a heavy sword. This is great. Tilt right stick to look around. Yep, being able to do that. Left hand to aim. And then pull. Right. Okay. This is going to take a bit of getting used to. Oh, this feels great. <laughs> and 
And I like that it reminds me of the old Time Crisis games. You know, where like bullets come at you, but it's the ones that are like flashing that you know are going to be direct hits. Oh, I thought you were going to show me where to parry. Okay, that felt good. Music's great. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't expect this. Okay, I'm not on it properly. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. Ah. Uh. This is fun. No hands. What a great tutorial. Simple, you feel like you're in the action, you don't feel like... Well, of course you are playing a tutorial, but do you know what I mean? You felt like you were in a proper mission. We hope you caught it. It's not a bad person. I can't believe it. I'm not a bad person. I put a cookie cutter on my phone. I'm going to get the 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 phone. Oh wow, look at this. So in terms of how the game looks, I mean, I love the art style in that, and it looks nice. I mean, this is great. But like looking around, I do wish the resolution could be slightly better, and there's quite a bit of aliasing. But again, this is prior to the day one patch, so. All right, let's have a look. Oh, continue. Love this though. And this looks great. There you go, lives. Love that. Uh, I thought I was waiting for a cutscene. I wish you could turn click turning off. But. Okay, what's that? How do. Is it that? Okay. Now what? What am I looking for? Oh, it was behind me. <laughs> I was looking the wrong way. There's a lot to think about, but I know it's going to feel so good once you master it. This feels awesome. Grab. Oh, so you can't duck them, you do have to deflect those. Du um, deflect those. So I'm not even speaking properly today. What's that? Oh, I can use this as a shield? <laughs> okay, I didn't know that's what I was using it for. Oh. Woo. 
Maybe I should do it two-handed. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, click turning's throwing me off a little bit. Come at me. I like how you get surprised by the enemies, you have to react quick, that's awesome. Music's awesome. Oh. Feels like I'm almost dead. Oh, okay, you can grapple on the yellow dudes. I'm almost dead. rails um you're moving point to point survival look at that i had one life left Whew. that was good though that was fun that was really fun I like that you use the gun for the menu that's that's pretty awesome right i'm just gonna check again though just to make sure i haven't missed it Okay. So there's nothing in controls there. Right hand. Can you turn the gameplay? You can do hook laser sight. Grabbing signs. So you could actually turn the grabbing signs off. Language. Audio. Accessibility. Screen shake and HUD size. So yeah, there's nothing. No smooth turning. And there might be a, 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 like a proper decision why they've done that. Those are a bit hard reaching out to. This is like a mixture of like some of my favourite aspects. Like it feels like time crisis, but and you do have a gun, but you have a samurai sword as well. I mean, how badass! Oh. I'm assuming you never have to reload. I'm not putting up with that. Oh! I like that sometimes it's not that the enemies jump on you, it's you jump out at them. So if you're not prepared when you go through that door, you're in trouble. Like I am now. Oh no, I thought I had my, uh, God, right. I died. Oh. Resolution's actually pretty decent. 
Right, as I've got into it, there's quite a bit of aliasing. <laughs> it's the most common question I get from people that just join. How's this going? So I, I always give my final thoughts at the end. I mean, the resolution, like, your hands and what you're holding is great. The environments look great as well. Oh. Switching between the sword and the pistol is amazing. Whoa. One more bit of health left. <laughs> yeah, I always do uh, timestamps after the live stream, and a massive shout out to Kira Cat Lady, who's been helping a lot lately. And I always make sure I do final thoughts at the end, um, just so it's easy to navigate after these live streams, so that they're good to watch as a live stream but then also you can enjoy him afterwards as a video where you can see as much or as little as you want. I'm trying to work out what the numbers above their head heads mean just means how many times you've got to hit them, right? So you can tell who the tough ones are. Left analog stick you're going to need to uh, rotate in this game, yeah. Those um, cub face says, I assume are just collectibles. Okay, I need to stop parrying. Whoa. Okay. So there are leaderboards, that's great. So these are the collectibles. That means I've missed one, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that... It means you've got that one in third, fourth, fifth, but not the second. Okay. So I like that you can restart it. So the goal was 3.30. It took me 5.46. I mean, let's just keep going, but I am. it doesn't make me want to go back and do it faster. Look at that. I love that. Although it looks like it comes out the bottom of your hand. See? But actually, it should be coming from the top. <laughs> is his name <laughs> Cookie Cutter? Is that his name? Co is that a joke? <laughs> Cookie Cutter. Right, it sounds like he's behind <laughs> this wall when he's talking, so hopefully they do that. It's like he's, it's like he's behind there. <laughs> right. Oh. Go on. Always got to look around. Whoa! <laughs> that is sick. Because it's not just about holding your weapon out. You got to. I'm just looking for collectibles, but I guess you want to do that separately, right? If you're going for collectibles, you're not going for speed. I assume you don't have to do it all at the same time. Ah, oh, this is a lot harder now. Oh. That was a massive difficulty spike. Gotta be much quicker. 
you got you got no clip. There's no reloading. So just keep shooting, I guess. Oh, I got that. Whoa. Whoa. I was sniped. I needed to get out of there quicker. Oh, it's through there. Whoa. How do I get further? Oh, there. Yeah, it's all about learning your route, isn't it? Where am I going? Oh, should have just held this up. Oh, I'm dead. That is... That is a massive difficulty spike. <laughs> I need that, though. not even doing damage. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. No, I got him. That wasn't exactly clear that I was doing damage to him. This is a workout, guys. Hey! Come here. Look at those eyes. I mean, I'm number one in the world. That will soon be destroyed. Right. Right, I need to hydrate. <laughs> What's everyone make of it so far? <laughs> mm. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I should have put on my watch for uh, tracking a workout, because... Woo! Until the beginning starts. Because obviously that's when the time starts. <laughs> nice suit. feels so badass. Like a lot of these games, once the difficulty goes up... I 
I don't think there's been any score yet for, um... Oh, that looked like a gas canister. That should have blown up. There's been no scoring for accuracy yet, has there? So maybe you can just keep spamming. What? Oh. They're soon going to be much slu uh, much quicker. There's not going to be as much telegraphing of what they're going to do next. Oh, that was a... That was... Oh, no. I thought that was a hostage. This feels so badass. I mean, click turning in some ways does make sense. Because it's always going to get you exactly where you need to be. Trying to double hand it, but you're better off single handing it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Three ways. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Back here. Hello. Those combos feel so good. Look at that. Oh no. No. Wow. Was I meant to not kill them? Don't know. started playing this game I was like yeah this is a fun this is fun this is a cool idea the more I'm playing the more I'm loving it this is amazing <laughs> it's just the fact they've combined two great melee and the gun simple but feels great And I wasn't sure about, like, having to constantly turn in that, but the more I do it... Whoa! Whoa. These environments are great. Look at this. So, yeah, you can turn off where it shows you where you can grab. But I think that's a good thing to leave on. I mean, if you want to play hardcore and you want to add to the immersion, yeah, I mean, that's a cool thing to... Whoa! The dev team are in the chat. Hey, how you doing, everyone? Glad you could join. I'm out of breath. You've done well. I finished a full day at work and now I get to do this. It was actually my last day of work for the year. And this is a great way to kick off the holiday season. If anyone has any questions for the devs, please do ask them. 
It's wonderful to have him here. Ah! And I know I, I know I sound like a broken record because I always mention this, but um, the sign of good game design is when you die, you go, "Damn it! I'll do better next time." Bad game design is when you die and go, "What? I should have got that." Uh, this leans into the good design category. When you lose, you know you've messed up. Yeah, dev team, smooth turning. Can that ever be a thing? Free locomotion is a no. You've got to have no to no for this. For the pacing. Oh. I believe it comes out Friday? Or was it Thursday? Link is in the description, guys. Uh, for the PlayStation Store, EU and US. It'll have the date on that. I mean, I'm just, I'm just number one in the world every time, even though I'm not hitting the gold. The goal. The gold or the gold. I'm curious to know what you get for like are there unlockables because like cosmetics and stuff like that. Ooh. Oh, I've just been asked to compare this to another game, which feels unfair. All I'll say is I am a lover for like time crisis growing up. And the fact that they've managed to get this kind of node-to-node -no time crisis-esque feel with a melee weapon, where you can, when you can um, deflect, um, pfft, is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. But when you have voices, it always sounds like they're behind you. Tomorrow's a restate. Thank you for the correction. Oh. I'm getting asked all sorts of questions in comparison. I will give my final thoughts at the end. I'm still, like, taking it all in at the moment. Right, how do I get up there? Oh, there. No. Whoa. No. There's no smooth turning. I'd like that. Whoa. Oh, they're getting better. They don't telegraph as easy. Oh. Come on. Boom. This seriously combines features from some of the best VR experiences into one game. But you know, I always say with caution though, I'm just explaining what my first impressions are. It might be that I play for a half an hour more and go, you know what, I've got everything I could have wanted out of this game. So, we'll have to wait and see, but so far, this is so much fun. They've got a shield now. How do I do that? Do I bring that away? Yes. That's awesome. Whoa. I'm almost dead. Oh. Dead. Whew. Honestly, I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't think I was going to be this hot and sweaty. But, a good game makes you want to push for it. Whoa! Yeah, smooth turning would be excellent. So I'd appreciate looking into that for the next patch. Whoa. But also, click turning kind of makes sense for this game. Although, what I would say for click turning, I know I should be going against the clock here. 
for me, I think with click turning, and, and by the way, this might be a terrible idea, so I'm sort of thinking out loud. There's been a few times where I've gone into a room and I'm not looking the right way. Like there was one level where I was like, where do I go? And it turned out I had to slice behind me. So maybe if the click turning, like you've got node to node movement, if the click turning made you face, so each section had so many ways you could be facing so that you were always facing, but nah, that's bullshit because you sometimes want to be specific. Um, there you go, as I said, thinking out loud. It's good as it is. I feel like I should be doing more with those guys because I just kill them straight away. Am I going to drag towards them? Oh, man. Whoa. Oh. Love it. It's not good enough just to hold your blade out. You have to deflect, actually deflect. Yep, yeah, I'm about to die. Okay. There are there has been a boss, yeah, and it absolutely destroyed me. The boss I wasn't sure if I was actually meant to be doing damage, because I swear I shot him earlier and it was a part of a cutscene, so I love that. Look at that. So you can Oh yeah, I just noticed that. That's when you aim. Got you. Okay, I did not know that. So that animation happens when you're connecting to where you meant to go. I didn't know that. But you can face just off it. No, you can't. Okay, I'm learning. one up there. No, go up. I was trying. Okay, maybe they're ones that you're not, you're meant to. Oh, I've got a shotgun. Oh, boom. No. Too much hesitation there. But I was wondering, that enemy running at the top looked yellow, so I thought maybe I was meant to not shoot him and instead drag yourself up to get to a new vantage point. But no. I love that they're invincible. Okay, I got nine health. See, every time you die, again, going back to that, I, that concept of good game design, I'm like, I'll do better next time. And you learn. Give me that. Oh, the music is reactive. Go on. Almost dead. No. Don't die now. Whoa. No. No. I'm almost dead. I am dead. Ah. But you're like, again, again. I don't know how I got that shotgun last time. Yeah, completing one of these levels. Whoa. Yeah, the sound design is great. You know exactly where they're coming from. Wow, 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 wow. 
I'm forgetting like the intensity you're playing at, and that's for like nine minutes. I'm not wearing the right clothes for this. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm going to hydrate quickly. <laughs> uh. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button, people. It gives me energy. <laughs> oh, man. Whew. I, I, do you know what? This live stream is not going to be limited by me just having enough, you know, in terms of like, yeah, I've had enough of this game, but more to do with um, my energy levels. This, this is definitely a, a great game for saving on heating bills this winter. Environment's great. Yeah, I do wish, like the resolution of your hands and that is excellent. I do th wish some of the resolution here was better, like with the environments, like it's quite blurry. But um, again, there is a day one patch coming. No, give it. Whoa. This is the time crisis VR game. I didn't know I wanted. Oh, there's something over there. Panicking. Quick. By the way, is the cub meant to be behind me the whole time? Is the cub on my shoulder? Okay, this is badass. <laughs> this is badass. Resolution isn't good. Oh, I blew it up with my sword. Put the heart monitor miles now. I mean, I could do. You want the heart monitor on? Let's see how quickly I can set... I can set this up pretty quick. Here we go. Give me two seconds. Or maybe give me like... Give me maybe like 10 seconds more. I'm just logging onto the app. Right, it's connected. Is that connected? Okay. I think that should be it. <laughs> You requested it. Oh, it was CrossFit territory a long time ago. Hit the like button, people. I live for this. Okay, that still hit me. I don't know why. Look at that. Oh, I've got to shoot it first before I get there. Okay. Has it got adaptive triggers? Good question. Some things you just don't think about. I mean, the gun feels good. I don't know if it's using the adaptive triggers, though. Oh, 
I love that. You're looking both ways. You don't know which way it's going to open. That's the thing is enemies come from all directions. Yeah, by the way, the reason the heart rate might have jumped up is when I connected it, it was just um, telegraphing what it was last time I used it. Oh, man. Sorry. My... um. My markers by my feet have all popped out, so let me just fix them. <laughs> so I make sure it's to help me make sure I'm on camera when I'm live streaming. Let me make sure. Yeah, I'm on screen. So yeah, the reason it was at 80 was because that's what it was when I uh, last used played it. So now this is my heart rate. Come at me. All right. Yeah, being able to make shields out of your environment is amazing. And as I said, it does let you in the settings turn off markers of what you can grab, but it's on by default. This is scary. Come on. Ah! Oh, hit the train. Woo! Okay, you've got to time it in terms of when you go towards them. Okay, I just w pulled myself in front of one. Okay. Push them onto the train. You can't pull them on towards you, though. Know. Come on. There we go. Yay! I find. Oh no, I didn't. I missed one. I'm not getting any stars, but my first time playing. Game reeks of clever level design. The level design is amazing. Like every level has felt pretty fresh as well. Different environments, different things. That I'm always like, is it going to wear out? Is it going to start re reusing stuff? But look at this. Oh. I'm not. I'm not very good at um, blocking bullets because I just get so overwhelmed. Oh. Okay, so you can drag it while blocking with the other. That's good to know. dead. Whoa! <laughs> They're using drone buggies now. Right, just to show you guys in the, in the options, I haven't used any of this accessibility. Oh no, it was in uh, gameplay. So the grabbing sign was on. Let's put on the hook laser. Oh, is it on permanently? Okay. And Okay, let's try it just for a little bit, just to see what it's like. Okay, so this I don't like leaving on, but 
It's good accessibility if you want it. Even the, uh... Because the guns... Can the devs tell me? The guns do aim assist, right? It's kind of like pistol whip. Or am I just... Amazing. I mean, you can just say I'm amazing, actually. See, I've forgotten how I get those weapons. I like that there's no reloading. <laughs> Drones in the sky now. Well. Aim assist. Right, so there is aim assist slightly, they're saying, but I just want to warn you, it's, it feels good. It feels good. It doesn't... It gives you that power fantasy. I think there should be an extra setting that allows you to so you have to reload as like an additional difficulty. But like, just like later content, you know. Oh. Here we go. Combo, 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 combo. That feels amazing. Oh, okay. I've just worked it out, guys. Call me slow. But, the, you know, those people I was saying, like, oh, I thought you were meant to, you know, swing towards them. And you can't. No, if you use your pull, you take the gun away from them. That's what you're meant to do. Oh, damn it, I wasn't meant to kill him. Nope, you have to manually use the grip button. I'm dead. No, I'm alive. <sighs> oh, no time to stop. Love it, you get straight back into it. I keep thinking I'm having to reload. No reloads, just keep going. Oh. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you choose which hand to begin with. Sorry, just to explain how it works. Use the grip button to, to choose your weapon. Sorry, to get your gun out. This is so, like the design. Because it's just not like, oh, it's taking another wave of enemy enemies. It feels like a dance. It's choreographed, you know? Like... 
you don't feel like I'm getting to another room with the same enemies. It's like, same enemies, but coming at you from different positions. Here we go. I'm ready for you this time. Throwing stars available? Nah. Unless you unlock like an RPG or something at the end. This is a great, just one more go, but it's like, will my body let me? Oh, it's just. Should have done that. I'm ready for you. I'm just waiting for that red. No, again. You on oh, next time. Next time. Okay, that's more like it. Yeah, you need to use them on areas like this because you kind of want to save that for when you need it. But the point is, sometimes your blade is just not going to be enough. Got you this time. No! What is that? A bus? Oh, explosives? No! Please don't put me all the way back. <laughs> okay, I just have to say, the sound design on moments like this needs fixing. So it sounded like the truck was behind me when it was in front of me. So, yeah. I'm um, just saying to flag up to the devs. Sorry if I'm missing any questions in the chat. I'm trying my best, but as you can imagine, I mean, I'm not good at multitasking at the best of times. Oh, there's a sniper. You get the snipers, you've got to keep moving to get out of their sight. That's awesome. I love this. Oh, no. I don't. I don't love this. could have got me. There we go. <laughs> A 14 minute match. <laughs> right. I'm just going to go to the main menu and see what's on the main menu. Right, let's have a look here. Oh my god, don't look guys, don't look guys. Look at all those stars I've got. I've just got three stars on everything behind the, behind the, uh, behind the sword. Wow, look at all those three stars I've got. No, no. <laughs> One star. Right. I assume this is going to move along more, or am I literally on the last level now? 
Can the devs tell me? Because basically, there's two things that are going to happen here. If this is the last level, I'm going to play the last level. If it's not, I'm going to go back to the first level and see if I can get three stars. Now that I've learned so much from all of this. Is this game more demanding than Pistol Whip? Yeah. I feel... I feel much more... Um, I feel much more pushed to exert energy because you're having to deflect and, you know, do a lot more movements and keep moving to get through it as quick as possible. You know, Pistol Whip, you're going at a set pace. Um, but, yeah. Whew. I can't wait to have a shower before I set up the next Let's Play tonight. Are any of the devs still in the chat? I don't know if they're able to tell me. Is this the last level? Or is it just that it spreads out accordingly? Um... Seawall says, I'm going to get this, and it's out tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Um, have a great time with this, guys. Um, yeah, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Uh, what's my next Let's Play? Well, you have to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified, because, to be fair, I don't know what my next Let's Play is. I'm going to have to have a shower, think in the shower, and then I'll schedule up whatever's next. I might actually have a break to eat some food because food's important as well. Um, hey, Morgan. Good to see you here. So, yeah, I was just asking, is this level the last level? Or is... Oh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just asking if this is the last level because if it is, I'm going to go back to the beginning. If it is the last... Sorry, if it is the last level, I'll play it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It always must be a buzz when you see people in real time playing it. Um. Also, I, I'm just allowing my heart to get down a bit. <laughs> I'm happy to just take a little break while I'm answering stuff in the chat. Um. I, I have no idea when the next one is, uh, Leaper, to be fair. Like, I, I, I literally don't know what I've got planned. Um, but I've been Let's Playing pretty much every day for like a month, with exception to my Wednesdays when I do Miles Die Alive. Oh, it's the last level of the main campaign. We're playing it, guys. We're going in. Oh no, I'm I'm this is the beginning. Never mind. Let me uh let me come out of this. More levels in future updates. Wow. So there's more content. Oh. Honestly, guys, this my favorite VR games and the things I have most faith in are where you um you have the the physics down and you've built a world that you can keep adding content to and this is one of them. Like if you did if I mean, I'd love to chat to you guys about ideas. But I'm going to let you enjoy the launch because you've done a brilliant job with this. Oh wow, the music suggests. What's my plan if they keep dropping two games a day? Well, I'm going to keep playing. I'm currently, I'm currently on 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 track to let's playing everything on PSVR 2 by Saturday. There we go. Oh, that's a nice... There's so many weapons that I haven't had to try yet because I've not been doing that properly. Oh! There we go. How long do I get this for? Oh, it's got the ammo on the back of it. That's nice. Oh! Right, sorry guys, back to concentration for me. Whoa! See, look at that. You turn around, 
and your reaction time, it feels such a buzz when you put up your sword or your shield just in time to deflect. Oh. Oh no! All I was going to say as an idea, devs. Oh no, I missed it. Whoa! Is um, when you get weekly modifiers. So you have a leaderboard, it's like one of the levels. And the modifier might be it's only like red enemies or, you know what I mean? So every week people have a reason to compete. And it reinvents the missions. But I'm sure you've already been thinking about that because you've designed this and it's amazing and inventive. But yeah, after this, oh, this is why it's difficult to like commentate while playing because. <laughs> I... No. Come at me. Whoa. That's true, you can use the right stick to, to, to turn. I forgot about that. Oh, no. No, I'm almost dead. No! <laughs> and that no is like, no, I've messed up. Oh, please do. I always love chatting to devs, but I always am very enthusiastic with ideas, and I always want to preface it by saying I know how hard games are to make, although I don't know how hard because I'm not a developer, and I don't like suggesting things like, oh yeah, you can just do this, just do this. It's like things take a long time to do. Oh, no, I missed it. Look at this, we're on an elevator going up. Or a, a lift. What do you call it in the US? Elevator, right? Come on. This is awesome. Oh, almost dead. Almost dead. Is that a checkpoint? God, can you imagine if there was a mode where there was no checkpoints and you had to get to the end without dying? I mean, if that is a... Oh, down here. Never gonna stand a chance. They wanted me to go bat, 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 bat. back here. Oh. God, those shotguns, you can't deflect against that well. Because it's such a spread. Oh, it's down here. No? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. It's, it's, I'm worried I'm going to get tired and I'm going to get worse. And I'm so... Nah, you know what? I can't restart this way. Come on, just kill me. Right, here we go. Come on. Right. Maybe block first. I'm getting better at doing the sort of switching, but it's not easy. Right, I've got three lives. Let's do this. Ready? Go on, give me a checkpoint. Give me a checkpoint. <laughs> no! You gotta be. What the fuck? 
please don't send me to the bottom of the elevator. Thank goodness. Wait, am I in a different area now? What happened to those enemies? Did I just get past them? Was I supposed to leave that area and get... and not take them on? Deep breath. Oh my goodness. I'm almost dead again. First, I need to grab that straight away. No, I killed him and they had a weapon that I needed. There we go. I don't want anyone behind me. I'm dead. Oh my goodness. This is... <sighs> that is a strong vase. Vase. What do you call it? Vase? Vase? There you go, you got to get one of the weapons to then get you the next one. Is that hurting me? I don't know. Oh no, I keep killing the person with the guns. That's such a cool mechanic. You kill him, you then get the weapon. I did it. I did it. Wow. Yeah, no stars. My goodness. Boss fight. And then you got to do it all again, but get all those stars, which is an excellent thing to go back for. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, you just dodge. Do I just keep shooting her? I don't know. See, it's never entirely clear on these. Like, am I doing damage right now? It was the same with the boss on the first one, but I don't know. Oh, am I meant to, oh, okay, you meant to hit it, got it. That's a cool mechanic. Toggle grip might be good, actually, because, to be fair, I'm uh, struggling to keep the gun because I'm having to keep holding the grip button. Just exhaustion, but I've been playing this for a long time. Here we go. Oh, man, you got to be a lot quicker. So I guess I'm not even meant to be shooting her. Or am I meant to be shoot? Yeah, here we go. You've got to cut the right way, though. Here we go.
Here we go. Swing it. Come on. Oh, almost. Wait. I wonder if you have to slice the same direction each time in each part of the sequence. Here we go. Hello. Oh, I remember you from the cut. Whoa! Okay, you absolutely destroyed me. Okay, I'm always going to do a, a cut from bottom left to top right. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Come on. Right, I'm just going to deflect now. Here we go. Oh, you can. Oh my god, this feels amazing. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, let me. Every time getting better than the last, though, right, guys? Unless I'm getting exhausted, but I'm alright for now. Come on. Here we go for the... That feels so good. Oh. Whoa. What am I doing now? I've no idea what's going on. Oh, Jesus. This is brutal. Right, last go, guys. Regardless of what happens, I'm ending it. Okay, <laughs> let's restart. That was a terrible... I'm not giving her a free hit. This is so difficult. Oh my god. 
알고 있었어. 클랜의 미래가 될 거라는 걸. 헤이. Hey. You're in a lot of trouble. 이제 널 어쩐다. One life left. Oh, dude. Nick Alfieri. What a dedication to someone. That's not, that's really nice. Oh man. Much love for Nick and all his friends and family and the whole team on that. That can't be easy. Honestly, I guess now's the time uh, to uh, give my final thoughts, everyone. I want to say a massive thank you to Big Sugar uh, for providing me with the game key for this. Um, this was a let's play of Tiger Blade. I want to say a massive thank you to the devs for staying in the chat, answering questions, asking me questions, answering my questions. Really, really appreciate it. So what are my final thoughts? Look, I always break it down into a few categories. Firstly, uh, visuals. I love the art style of this game. Uh, the environments are beautiful. It looks great. I love the style. Um, there is some aliasing happening with quite a lot of the enemies and with some of the environments. And then there are also some environments where the resolution gets quite low. Um, there's some sort of inconsistency because like when I look close at my hands and that and what I'm holding, this looks amazing. Really, really smooth. Looks great. And I think that that juxtaposed against the environments or the areas where the resolution dips or there's aliasing, it kind of really stands out. So like there is a day one patch to come, but if there are if there's an ability to improve like I'm gonna say the resolution, but like the fidelity on you know consistency across it all, this game's only gonna get better. But look, overall the game looks beautiful and I, I, I love how it looks. Secondly, audio. Oh my god, what do you think I'm gonna say about the audio? Um, you know, it's not my go-to music, but the music is excellent. It gets you in the zone. I love how it progresses with how you play. You... I, I mention this a lot when it comes to games. Music should take you on a journey that is in sync with the journey that you, you game in. And this is exactly what this does. Because when I heard about this being in sync with the music, you're like, ah, oh, am I going to be a slave to the music? No, the music amplifies the fact that you are a hero of this story. Um, and it's really, really fun for that. Um, the sounds of the, the bullets deflecting, um, hearing when enemies are coming from, from left, right, that's great. Um, but there was also some issues with sound where it sounded like people were behind me when they were talking in front of me, uh, or like the truck moving in. But I just want to reiterate, there is a day one patch coming. The devs are um, aware of a lot of these issues. Um, and obviously they're gonna be working on it. Oh, what's this? That's so nice. That's such a nice thing to include. Hey! I shouldn't be stro I shouldn't be uh, striking you with the sword. Oh, and then you're here because I am now. Wow! Look at that view. That's such a cool way to end the game. The game didn't start with you here, did it? So you are now at the top. That's excellent. That's excellent. 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 Um, right, haptics. Haptics feel really, really, really good. Um, a part of me wonders if there could be more gun haptics for the different guns to make them feel even more epic. Um, but I have to say that it, it all fits in with the immersion. And to be fair, there w I keep almost cutting my tongue off with this. Um, the, I haven't had a lot of chance with the guns because a lot of those guns that you can collect from those enemies running by, I, I caught onto that far too late in the game. But that is a part of the final section which is the gameplay firstly did i have fun what do you think of course i had fun this was so exhausting but so exhilarating and i love how inventive each of the levels are not just in their designs but in the way that enemies come at you it's always doing things that are new um it doesn't feel repetitive and i look forward to going back again because also i love this that you switch between the gun and your sword you have this to swing 
Um, but look at this. Out of the entire game, I've only had one star. What a disgrace I am. Um, but if and, and also they say they're going to keep adding content, which is great. Like if they have modifiers and like weekly challenges, if they had, I don't know if. Yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens when you collect all the stars. If you if you do get anything, indeed. Um, what else was I going to say about the gameplay? Yeah, the gameplay is just really exhilarating. Um, as a, as I said, I went into this game thinking. Yeah, it's about it's in it's about being with the music. Am I going to be a slave to the music? And it's like, no, you are actually like in the moment, fighting how you want. But the music kind of gives you a sense of how you should be going about it. Um, but the music complements you and it it enhances that speed. I love that when you're going into rooms, you literally have to look all around you. I would love smooth turning because right now I would like, like let's say I want to turn 90 degrees. I pre I hold left. You know, I would straight away be there. Like I'd, I want to be able to turn like this with the stick. And instead, if I press left, it does that. So I have to go three three clicks. And they've said they're going to look at smooth turning. So that's great. But even with click turning, look, I've played the entire game. Uh, and it feels good. It feels really, really good. So, oh, I've just been asked, any trophies? Really important question. Um, do you know, strangely enough, it won't let me bring up the... Uh, there's no trophies available because the game's not out yet. Um, but I'm curious. Hopefully there's a platinum trophy. That would be a hell of a one to grind for, right? Um, but yeah, um, so my final thoughts are, um, as someone who grew up loving Time Crisis, and I always talk about again and again, I want there to be a Time Crisis. Oh, here we go. 32 trophies, including the Platinum one. Oh my good, I bet you it's going to be really difficult. But I'd really love to. This would be a great game to get a Platinum for. Um, but if you've got to complete the entire game without dying once, I'm never going to do that. Although you never know, right? Right? <laughs> um... Yeah, um, I, you know, I, I love Time Crisis. I'm always looking for that game. I would have never have assumed the game that makes me feel most like in the arcade machine as being a game where you not only have a gun, but you have a sword as well. And it feels feels really good. So, um, yeah, I would say that if you are into, you know, games that get your heart rate up, this is definitely one checking out. If you are into melee fighting, this is definitely one to do. If you like arcadey Time Crisis style games, this is a, a must go for. But at the end of the day, you're going to have a look at this. You're going to know if it's exactly what's right for you. I can't speak for everyone, but check it out. And uh, if you do check it out, let me know your thoughts in the comments post-launch. Would love to hear your thoughts. Maybe you learned some mechanics that I completely missed in my first playthrough. And that's kind of the exciting part of these kind of games. So I'm going to leave it there. Do hit the like button uh, before leaving. Some of you just said now that you hit the like button. Um, and do subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of all future Let's Plays. Because I'm on a mission to uh, Let's Play every single PSVR 2 game out there. I've done over 145 already. Um, they're all available on my channel. And uh, I'd love to have you on, on the journey with me. And YouTube tells me that over 50% of you that watch these Let's Plays aren't even subscribed to my channel. So what are you waiting for? If you've got a YouTube account, it's free. Subscribe. We'd love to have you join us on this journey. And I am going to leave it there. I'm going to take a shower, eat some good food, and then decide what to Let's Play next. So until next time, much love to you all. Huge congrats to the devs on this. All the best with the launch. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>